Hello everyone, Tootsie Forever here, and well, I've been in this fandom for almost a decade now, and I am still amazed to this day of all the amazing feats that this community has accomplished since its time on the internet. Some good, some very questionable. Even though My Little Pony has finished airing all of its episodes, it doesn't mean our job as a community is done, as we need to preserve everything that Friendship is Magic has given us over the years, such as documents, scripts, episodes, and most importantly, the voices. The voice cast of Friendship is Magic did an amazing job giving each character their own unique identity, but we can't just message the VAs and ask them to play a part in our video. And fan voice actors are good stand-ins, however, no one can really capture what the original voice cast brought to the table. Until now, I give you the Pony Voice Preservation Project. You may have already heard about this as Equestria Daily has been posting and keeping everyone up to date on its progress. But if you're one of the few people like me who haven't heard about it for a while, then here's a quick summary. The Pony Voice Preservation Project is a collaborative effort by Slash MLP to create quality AI text-to-speech generators for as many Friendship is Magic characters as possible. We have reached an age of technology where a trained neural network uses nothing but recordings of voices through machine learning to synthesize and create accurate voices without needing an actor. Thanks to the run of Friendship is Magic, we have 9 seasons, 222 episodes, five movies, and a leak's worth of information of voices available to us, that way we can create our own pony AI. There is more public research into machine learning than ever before, giving us a strong foundation to build upon. The MLP community has always been really creative, making an intense amount of fan content from 2010 to 2019, having the ability to generate lines for a character without needing their original voice actor has been an incredible implication for fan projects. This will ensure that new pony content will still be made despite the show being completely over. Now, before we go any further, I want to give a big shout out and a huge thank you to all the people who are hard at work working on this project in order to bring us high quality pony audio, as I know it cannot be easy to take all those audio clips and clean them up for us. We can now keep Friendship is Magic alive by making our own full episodes as we have full control over what Twilight, Fluttershy, Applejack, Rarity, Rainbow Dash, and even Pinkie Pie has to say to do with whatever with as we please. Now, the program itself is very simple to use. You just type in a phrase, click generate, wait a few seconds, and then BAM! You have some high quality pony voices. Be sure to like and subscribe to Tootsie Forever! As of right now, the program is still very limited on what certain characters will say, as they will either mispronounce words or some sound clips will be more robotic than others with their limited vocabulary. You really just need to fidget around with the voices to get it just right. Now, with all that being said, I've gone ahead and put together a few scenarios that would be great to show off what you can do with this pony voice system. More than likely, everyone is just going to be using it for porn, but I digress. Let's get on with it. Thank you all for coming to my press conference. I will now be answering all your questions. Yes, Miss Buckles. This is Rarity from the Rarity Boutique team. My question is why do you call this pandemic the Griffon virus? Because it came from the Griffons. Don't you think that's a little insensitive considering the school you run and I teach at has Griffon students attending? Or do you think it originates from in the first place? I'm sorry, but this is why we need a net around Equestria. My name is Pinkie Pie and I'm the fastest pony in Equestria. To the outside world, I'm an ordinary art pony. But secretly with the help of my friends in the Castle of Friendship, I fight crime and find other meta ponies like me. I am Billy Second. Oh well, that was wonderful. I am poked. Yes, I should be good lord what is happening in there. Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis at this time of year. At this time of day in this part of the country localized entirely within your kitchen. Yes. May I see it? No. Twilight the house is on fire. No rainbow dash, it's just the northern lights. Droplight the post, he's a rocket and he's ready to go. Cause now the countdown has started and he's ready to blow. It's got for the dope sound, pumping and he's stereo. Taking us fast, putting on a show. 
Come on and get yourself together. There's no time to rest. And if you put the time in, he'll put you to the test. He's like a running man and his work more is less. And if you want to test him best, bring your best. You can't stop now. Lock and load. Don't stop now. Come on and rock and roll. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. In his world. One thing I've been hearing is the fear of fan voice actors being replaced by these pony AI voices. To which I say, quit being dramatic. That's not gonna happen. Most of these are just going to be used for memes. It's not like they're gonna try to- Steal your job as a voice actor. I'm Tootsie Forever, and thank you for watching. Flipped off. Okay, maybe they are. I'm Tootsie Forever. I'm getting ready for a Ponywide takeover, because I accept our new Pony Overlords.